feeling good. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. You feeling good? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about getting cute for the day. So hopefully you're getting cute with me. I'm moisturizing my scalp with the peppermint oil. I'm taking the Gots to Be glue and I'm about to lay my baby hairs. I like to do my famous swoops towards the front of my face. Meanwhile, the back of my hair is raggedy, daggedy. It's just raggedy, okay? I don't even think daggedy is a word, but you know what I'm saying, like it's just raggedy. This video is sponsored by So Wigs. They sent me their Brazilian Natural Wave Bundles 18-2022 and they sent me a 14 inch closure. The hair is pretty full for it to only be three bundles and I love this hair. It looks so natural and yes, I'm taking the beanie that my mom bought off Facebook because it's actually very convenient. And I'm just gonna place the wig on my head and literally toss and go, you guys. This hair only needs water. I've only used water. I haven't even used conditioner yet or anything like that. I'm taking some of the hair towards the front of the closure and I'm mixing that in with my actual hairline and my actual baby hair. And also I had to bleach the knots, but that's pretty much all that you have to do to achieve this look by creating your unit or wig or even just a sew and install. So check out sewwigs.com. I decided that I wanted to talk to y'all while I do my makeup. My bathroom has a fan built into the lights or it's connected to the light. So I feel like y'all can hear the fan a little bit. So I've already primed my face. I did some color correcting. I ate some Girl Scout cookies and you guys know that I'm like keto, keto lifestyle. I am keto. Okay, the only thing was when I ate the Girl Scout cookies, it really broke out my face. And it broke out my chest. It broke out my shoulders, like, I just broke out in acne. It was the weirdest thing ever. So, I'm trying to get my skin back together. Was it worth it? Hell no. Okay, it was not worth eating those damn cookies. It was not worth it. I'm so mad. Like, it really ruined my skin. The reason why I say it's not worth it is because I could have went and made some damn keto cookies and I would have been just fine. But no, I had to eat them damn Girl Scout cookies. And you know what got me? You want to know what got me? Them damn shortbreads. Girl, they got me. Yeah. This is not right. My chest broke out. Recently on my social media, I've been talking a lot of stuff about dating on Instagram. I don't like it. I don't like dating on Instagram. I don't like it. I ain't doing it no more. The psychic, she was right about a lot of things. She was just, she was just so right. But everything that she talked about, I already knew in my heart to be true. Honestly, she wasn't telling me anything that I didn't already believe in or anything that I didn't believe to be true. She like basically gave me clarity, peace of mind. And I'm not trying to persuade anyone to get a second reading. I feel like it's up to you. Yes, I'm a Christian. If you didn't know there are Christian psychics. This is my whole thing when it comes to like Christians. If you believe in the church and you believe that prophets within the church speak in tongue, why don't you believe in other forms of that? Like there's so many different forms of that. It's just not one. I know you are supposed to only believe in one, but understand that there are multiple. We'll see who goes to hell and who goes to heaven. I'm just tired of living in this box. Have you ever noticed that when it comes to your gender, when it comes to your religion, when it comes to your social status, that it kind of keeps you from experiencing certain things? And I'm in this whole mindset now that I'm gonna do what I feel. I'm not gonna do based off of what my label is telling me to do. So my label meaning female, my label meaning black woman, my label meaning Christian, my label meaning my social status, like being middle class, upper class. I'm not gonna allow that stuff to hinder me from, from experiencing things. I don't know, this past weekend I went out and I'm just really over the club thing, bar hopping. Girl, I'm over it. I just, I want experiences. That's where I'm in it like right now. 
I just want everything to be an experience. I have experienced everything when it comes to bars and clubs. I've experienced sitting in DIV. I've experienced getting drinks from random ass men. I've experienced my divine feminine energy in that setting. I want to experience it in other settings, you know? I'm gonna be working on that. What I'm gonna start doing, you know, I'm not gonna tell y'all what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna just do it and then we'll talk about it. Cause I don't want nobody working against me with what I wanna do. Let me do my eyebrows. Sorry, I need to be up close and personal when I do my brows. Cause I need to make sure they are on point. There we go. So like I was saying, I have missed out on so much just because I allowed fear and expectations to limit me. Honestly, it all started with the whole good girl thing and then it started with the whole I'm a strong, independent black woman thing. And let me tell you what it got me. I mean, I'm not going to sit up here and say it didn't give me shit because it did. When it comes to the things it brought me, okay, it brought me a business. It brought me weight loss. It brought me uh, being independent. Like, I got my own shit. Everything that I have, I've accomplished myself without the help of anyone, honestly. I would say like my parents, but like the type of help they gave me was not financially or physically or anything like that. Just, they groomed me well. I'll say that. They gave me certain opportunities. That's as far as it goes when it comes to them helping me. My point is, those labels, being the perfect Christian, being the good girl, being the strong independent black woman, it didn't bring me happiness. It made me miserable. Trying to do everything, trying to be superwoman, trying to have it all by myself stressed me out. So now my focus isn't trying to have it all. My focus is just doing what makes me happy. Whatever that looks like, I cannot tell you what makes you happy. There are things that I've said in the past that was coming from a place of, I'm trying to be righteous. I'm trying to be this Miss Perfect Betty type of woman. And when I look back on some of the things that I said, I'm just like, oh my God. That's the thing about being a social media influencer. We are growing as we influence. So there are things that we may have said in the past that we no longer agree with because we are experiencing Growth. I used to be so against plastic surgery until I got bullied last month. And I just didn't understand why girls were doing it. But when you experience bullying to that extent, you understand why. Because it's like, okay, they keep bullying me, bullying me about this certain thing. Let me just go ahead and fix it. Because as a society, we can do that now. I see why a lot of Instagram models get it done or get the work done. People expect for you to be perfect on Instagram. Dead as this girl tried to make fun of my teeth and I'm like, I get compliments on my smile all the time. You're basically saying that the little gap that I have, the little chip part that I have in the front right here from playing ball, you're literally picking me apart. Why do we have to be so perfect when it comes to the internet? You know what's crazy? Nine times out of 10, it's the women. It ain't even the men. It's the women that be doing it. Like this one girl gonna say, why do you have stretch marks on your arm? I don't know. I'm just over it. Focus on you being perfect. I'm over that whole trying to be perfect. I don't care no more. Y'all can have you. Another thing that I want to talk about, I'm tired of being used when it comes to my social media platform. My dumb man, I'm one of those people where, and maybe it's because I'm naive, I want to try to help everyone. And so because I want to help everyone, sometimes I get blinded by people who are trying to use me. And a lot of y'all keep asking me about where are the guys that you were doing Instagram lives with? Let me go ahead and address that right now. I only did that because I was persuaded to. It wasn't my idea at all. I agreed to it. I mean, there are things that I learned, you know, I'm not gonna lie, like there are things that I learned. It started off with that, then it started off with promote me, promote me, promote me on your story, promote me on your story, promote me on your story, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, 
you know, like whatever. Then there was this other thing that went down behind the scenes that I'm not gonna talk about. Just know that the reason my meal plans didn't come out is because of it. During the time, I was cool with doing all like the Instagram lives, the promoting on my story, because I assumed that, you know, well, if they're gonna help with my meal plans and blah, 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 I just expect for people to do right, you know? Because I would do the right thing, because I have integrity. If somebody pays me to do a job, like, I'm gonna make sure I follow through and get that job completed. I don't even feel like I got scammed. And the only reason why I got scammed is because I was being nice. This is the thing, I swear to y'all, every time I try to be optimistic, I try to let my guard down. Somehow I get fucked over. After the whole situation, I was really turned off by doing lives with them. I'm not gonna lie. And I felt like I really wasn't benefiting. But I mean, you guys enjoyed it. There was this whole situation about this girl saying like, I stole her idea when it came to interviewing men. And I'm just like, <laughs> First of all, it was not my idea. People swear they invented interviewing. Trust, I only want what's for me. I don't want what you have. Dating on Instagram, I can't. I don't even date on dating sites, dating apps. You know, I was listening to my friends like, oh my God, let your guard down. You're always so stuck in your ways and blah, blah, blah. First of all, you only have to screw me over once, maybe twice. You're not doing that shit a third time. I nip that shit in the butt, like you're not doing that shit cause guess what, if you do it to me on the third try, it's my fault, I'm stupid. And then someone was like, well maybe it's the men that you attract. I be minding my business. Minding my business. And in the process of me minding my business, I was able to create a business. That's how much I be minding my goddamn business. I was minding my business, working on my business, trying to expand and branch out with my business, and then this dude wanna slide in my DMs. That's how it happened. They wanna come in and be fake and lie. I'm just speaking like in general, like when it comes to men that I have dealt with in my DMs, sus, you are not missing out on shit. Everyone wants this whole influencer lifestyle, but you really don't understand how much bullshit comes with it. Everyone wants your lifestyle, but they really don't know how much work goes into it, how much sleepless nights you actually have. So I'm using these iconic lashes. Aren't these adorable? They're so cute. my get cute for the day video make sure you guys subscribe to my channel I'm trying to reach 100k so if you share subscribe tell a friend tell a family member tell a stranger off the street to please subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell so that you are notified for when I upload but what else would you guys like for me to do on my channel or maybe discuss trendy topics whatever the case may be comment down below thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye